In the Bible's Old Testament, Leviathan is a sea creature that fears no one, but is feared by all of mankind. The origin of the name comes from the Hebrew word Leviathan, and the creature is mentioned a number of times throughout the Bible. Leviathan is said to be a waterborne serpent created by God and may have been likened to a crocodile, but it has also been described as a mammal, too. Many have even believed it to represent a dinosaur, but that idea has long been debunked. Life, uh, finds a way. And of course, while many theologians have debated the extent to which Leviathan is based in truth, no physical evidence for the creature's existence has been forthcoming. The descriptions of the creature state that it is large, has big teeth, can shoot flames from its mouth, and has scaly skin. It can also probably safely be assumed that Leviathan is supposed to be a huge fish, as it's said to live in the sea. But it is altogether more horrifying than any whale or shark. Job 41 describes Leviathan as being enormously strong and well protected by a chest as hard as rock. It also claims the beast can bend iron like straw. Leviathan is mentioned about four times in the Bible, not only in Job 41, but also in Isaiah 27.1, Psalm 74.14, and Psalm 104.26. In Isaiah 27.1, Leviathan is described as a great serpent, which is destroyed by a sword-wielding god in Psalm 74, 14. Another mention is made of God coming down to earth and killing Leviathan, which is described there as having more than one head. The remains of the creature are left to be feasted upon, with the passage stating, It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave it as food to the creatures of the desert. Psalm 104, 26 is a little less unpleasant. This passage only says that God created Leviathan to enjoy and play in the ocean, where it lives happily in peace. The last verse confirms that Leviathan is a creation of God, though its mere existence is also meant to instill fear in man. Then, in Job 41, it is explained that not only is Leviathan unable to be killed by man, but it also apparently possesses many traits comparable to a combination of a whale, crocodile, and mythical dragons. In Job 41, Job himself is tasked by God with subduing the creature. As it turns out, however, he is nowhere near strong enough to conquer it, but he was never meant to be. According to one interpretation of the story, Leviathan symbolizes God's power over man. Job 41 goes on to explain that God has the ability to subjugate Leviathan to his servant and suppress it to the point that it will speak to him. This provides a nifty demonstration by God that, as Leviathan itself answers to him, there is nothing else on earth that is more powerful than the Almighty. The whole ordeal humbles Job, and his inability to tame the creature is the heart of the story's twin morals, namely the sinfulness of pride and the unquestionable power of God. There are stories about Leviathan present in Jewish and Christian religions as well as Middle Eastern mythology, and one thing that is common to them all is the fact that Leviathan was a creation of God and could only be destroyed by him. In Jewish folklore, the story of Leviathan has God slaying the female version of the creature and feeding it to starving Hebrew people. This tale is also recounted in the Bible in Psalm 74:14, and in some mythology, the existence of Leviathan represented the sin of envy, or perhaps, as some have argued, Satan himself. The notion that God killed Leviathan is an important part of the creature's story. It shows that while God can create something as fearful and terrible as this, God can destroy it as well, leaving no doubt about his mastery over the earth. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.